Okay, so this question is from Angela Everett, who is the host of Fit is the New Sexy um, blog radio station. And I'm the question that she's asking is, when creating Facebook groups, how do you choose what tags to use? That's number one. And two, are the tags going to someone else? So I'm going to start with the first part. When creating Facebook groups, how do you choose what tags to use? You choose what people will search to find you. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and type in business masterminds, right? Everyone knows that there's a search. Not everyone, but most people know there's a search there. Anything that you're connecting to will come up first. What people, most people don't know is that if you click on more, you could find groups that fit that criteria. Okay, so for now, let's say since she's into fitness, if I go to more and go to groups, I can find fitness groups. So this says financial group, fit is a new sexy, I found her. Um, there's a couple different groups here, but it doesn't only search the name, it searches the tags as well. Also, you could find people, you could find photos, anything to do with fitness. So you want to make sure you use tags and a description um, according to how you want people to find you. The other thing is it also connects people to your page. And I'll show you something really quick. And I know why she was asking the second question of, is it connecting, um, is it actually linking to someone else's page? It's more of a topic of interest. And let me show you on your right hand side, if you click on edit, that's how you add your tags. When you start typing, so if I do social media, right? it pops up. It's not really connecting to that page, but it connects you to that topic. So as far as you're concerned as an admin, it doesn't matter much. As far as Facebook advertisers, this is solid gold. The reason why is when we put in who we want to target for our ads, we want to put in, find people who are interested in social media, right? I use that one a lot, or I'll say in PicMonkey or in Canva or Graphics or Facebook. Those are all the interests I'm looking at. So if you put that in your group, what it does is connects those people in your group to that topic. People in your group are interested in social media because they're in that group. And that's the same with um, using some of the other search terms as far as I can do um, pages like and let's do social media examiner, okay? So this is one of the top places that social media uh, managers go, but what this did is it found similar pages to social media management. And it could be because it's connected or they have that as a topic or a tag. Um, there's another way and I think it says pages, you guys are gonna like this one if I can figure this out, pages, um, there's something that says pages liked by my friends, okay? So this is another kind of way you can um, kind of see how to do Facebook advertising, especially if your friends are entrepreneurs and that's your target audience, you can now see what pages they like, okay? So those tags, as far as connecting to pages, are more about, <laughs> my phone is ringing it's more about advertisers than it is about your page so i hope that answers your question i'm going to answer my phone have a great day hey so did you like that video if so please like and subscribe if anything didn't make sense or you have a question still go ahead and leave your comments below and i will try to answer them the best i can again like and subscribe thanks and have a great day